Welcome to the Damodar class. Hare Krishna Kushita. Hare Krishna Vrinda. Hare Krishna Madhava. Gopika. Hare Krishna. Welcome to the Damodar class. We will start our class for today. We are going to need paper and pencil and crayons and sketches. You can take all of them and then come and then we, Mataji will tell us what to draw and what to do. Okay? Have everything ready, okay? As Hare Krishna, class, can you all hear me? Yes, Mataji. I was just telling that I'm in the group. Everything is there. What you need? We need a paper, crayon, mm -hmm. pencil, eraser, and sketches. And then we can... Hare Krishna, Ma. Okay, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Tushita. Hare Krishna, Raghav. Hare Krishna, Madhav and Gopika. Hare Krishna, Tushita. Hare Krishna... Vinita Ganda Vigan, Vinita Palvit, and some of us start with the prayers. Can you all hear me? Tushita, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, let's start with the prayers. There is some problem with my computer. So I think I will uh, be logging with another computer. Before that, we'll start the prayers, okay? Nama Om Vishnu Pada, Saya Bhutale. Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Namaste Vishesha Shunyavadi Yeah. <laughs> 
You are muted, Mataji. We can't hear you. Hare Krishna, Mataji. It's deep. Yes. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Krishna, Krishna. Krishna, Hare Hare. Ignore him, Mataji. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I, I didn't get what he was saying. You do very beautifully. Thank you so much. Okay. Can you all be on mute? Everybody is going to be on mute. Okay. Now we are going to start our story. We saw on uh, Wednesday, Indu Mataji was explaining how Hiranyakashipu came out of the pillar, right? What happened? Prahalad was not listening to his father. He was being very, very, you know, uh, uh, giving hard time to his father. He's not leaving Har uh, Hari's naam, name. So then what happened? His father got so much angry. How can you do this? Oh, who is helping you all the time? Then Prala said that it is Nari is who is helping Lord Vishnu who is helping me. Okay, where is he? He is in the pillar and then he just break the pillar out. And then what happened? Hiranyakashipu comes, uh, sorry, Narshinga comes out. So then we saw how Narshinga came with all the, you know, uh, club and then sword and all that we saw, right? So now we'll see how Hiranyakashipu was thinking afterwards when Narshinga came out. Hiranyakashipu was thinking that, oh, Narshinga uh, going to kill this form of Lord Vishnu. This form of Lord Vishnu uh, came to kill me. How can it kill me? Nobody can kill me. It's a waste of the time why he came to kill me. It's no use. So he was thinking like that. Hiranyakashipu was thinking like that. And then Hiranyakashipu was thinking that, you know, this half man and half lion is definitely a Vishnu. Um, and he's also, who is this half man and half lion? He's yeah. also called as Narashima Narahari. Uh, Narshima or Narahari, okay, Narasimha, okay, there you have three names, which means half man and half lion, when Narshinga came, everything was became bright, and nobody could see, you know, like um, anything, it's so bright, effulgent, if little light you can see, so much of in front of you, we cannot see, See, any too much of brightness comes. So like that, what happened is like uh, everybody were shocked, Dema, demons and demigods, everybody was shocked. Now what is going to happen? And after he came and he was quite little bit, he was quiet. He was not fighting immediately. Hiranyakashipu was trying to fight. And then then uh, he was thinking, oh, now Hiranyakashipu is thinking that, ah, Vishnu got scared. He's not fighting with me. Ah, let me just kill him. He's like that. And then now Nashinga shows him what exactly he is. He started fighting with him. And then what did he do? He took him where? He took him to the place. One second, my computer is having a trouble. 
so he quickly took him to the uh, he was fighting 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 and he quick he took him near the doorway and then there he put him on his lap and then what he do he used he used his nails to kill hiranya kashipu so what was hiranya kashipu's uh, prom, uh, you know um what did he ask to lord brahma lord brahma he asked that i should not be killed by any any animal or any human being or any weapon right so that is why uh, lord uh, narsing lord vishnu came as the narsinga which is not a human or which is not the animal means half man and half lion right so that is why lord vishnu tricked hiranyakashipu in that way so and he did not kill him in on the land. or in this guy no he kill him on his lap and also hiranyakashipu asked that i should not be kill inside the building or outside the building so then what he did he just kill him in the doorway it is not either inside nor the outside it is in the middle so like that even in the day or night so what did he do he chose the uh, time where it was not the day or night it is a middle time so that you know where um, the pro the promises that lord brahma has given is also satisfied but still hiran narsinga uh, could kill hiranyakashipu that is lord vishnu nobody can trick lord vishnu so we can see that like that uh, um it, like the lord narsinga killed hiranyakashipu but when hiranyakashipu was killed that time not only um, lord narsinga was there at that time there were so many demigods lord brahma lord shiva indra many 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 uh, um, uh, higher planetary systems uh, um, uh, devotees came down and also narada was there and lakshmi devi was there after he killed hiranyakashipu was very angry and means he was still roaring like a lion oh it was so scary everybody was scared nobody could go in front of lord narsinga even the lakshmi devi who is always serving lord lord it is lotus speed but she also could not go then what did narada muni did narada muni said that please um prahlad you go you go and pacify lord narsinga dev because he has appeared for you as soon as narsinga um, prahlad went in front of lord narsinga he started doing his prayers to the lord is glorifying lord and then that time lord mercifully put foot put his lotus hand on his on the head of prahlad and blessed him then what happened when lord narsinga blessed prahlad he was please be on mute okay he was asking what do you want dear prahlad can what 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 do you want what can i do for you then prahlad was saying no nothing i don't want anything i just wanted to always serve you uh, but if you want to do something please do for my father please help my father um, so that he he can become a devotee so then lord narsinga said that you no know, he is already liberated because he is your father because you are such a pure devotee because of you your father got liberated like that lord narsinga blessed prahlad and we can see the lord narsinga dev cleanses our heart he always protects the devotees for if you see lord narsinga he is very like for a non devotee they might get scared for what devotee devotee knows that lord narsinga is always you know our protection he will never harm us but the demons will get scared so what do we pray for lord narsinga we pray that our bhakti lata beach is always protected otherwise you know what happens if narsinga don't protect us then we will just get all the time angry you know you will be envious and everything all this problem 
comes and also the health sometimes we don't have proper health so everything uh, lord is protecting for us lord nashinga will protect us so that we are nicely grown in our spiritual life and then we can go back to godhead here we can see the quality of prahlad what is the quality he is so so sweet right he has lot of daya even though his father was punishing him so rudely but when narsinga asked him what do you want he was not asking anything for him he was still asking for his uh, father even though my father did mistake please forgive him please take him back so that is a quality of devotee we should understand that devotee is means whenever somebody hurt us yes if they hurt us but still we should not be reacted like them only okay they hurt me okay, let me also hurt them so it's not correct we should not be like that we should deal in a loving way so that the other person automatically melts oh see i i you know i scolded tushita but tushita was hari krishna mata ji i love you then automatically what happens to uh, then i see oh my god yesterday i was i was little angry with tushita but today still she is saying i love you mata ji oh that is a quality of a devotee automatically even i am bad i becomes good oh oh let me hug tushita i'm so sorry tushita so this is what happens when we react to the other person sweetly automatically even that person has angry and and on us he will become very sweet to us so today's activity is we are going to dry a plant and what we do is we are going to protect this plant this is called bhakti lata beej okay how we are going to protect this we are going to protect this with our chanti and also bhagavad gita bhagavatam kirtan so you can draw a tree and around that you can draw so many things like you can draw chanting bag and you can draw a drums you can draw bhagavad gita bhagavatam like that you can draw the fence for the tree is your all sadhana because of all of this this tree will give you paper and gives the flowers okay Hi Krishna Pati, it's Deepak. One of my friend, her name is Prachi. She joined on Thursday class. Again, she is joining. Oh, welcome! Let's That's go. why I put Deepak Prachi Kaushi. Deepak Prachi Kaushi, Hari Bo. Her name is Prachi. Okay, Prachi, welcome to the class. Thank you so much. For the first time, she joined. No, I did it for the second time. For the second join, she the first time she joined. That was the first time she joined. Okay, okay. So yeah, everybody understood the story. Nice. Yes, yes, Janavi. You have an again a Shinga background, Didi background on. Yes, I have Nashinga. See, I my Nashinga is protecting me. I need Nashinga. Without Nashinga, I cannot be there. So I just kept nursing her behind me so that he is protecting. Yes. So okay, I have a question for everybody. I will be while you are drawing. We have another two three minutes. We can take for this realization. Okay. First question is for Janavi. Janavi, you can unmute and answer me. No 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 no. Rinda, if Rinda is hurting you, Janavi, I mean like she scolded you, and she was behaving me. Me. Yes, hello, 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 hello. Hello, Brenda. Was mean to you, Janavi. How do you react to it? Janavi, come on. I would um react upset. Upset. And then, how do you talk to back when when uh, do you talk to her nicely or do you be or do you also want to be mean to her? Mm. Quick answer. Okay, if not, I Jan try. I try to be nice. 
you try to be nice yes that is a quality of devotee we cannot be again back to her like mean how she behaved so then there is no dif difference between you and her right so if you behave nice to her back maybe she understands that she did a mistake to you and then she will also be nice to you so what if uh, i'm going to ask to Palvit, Palvit, please. Now you answer me. How do you react if your friend is mean to you? Sorry, Mataji, what is the question? Yeah, I was asking him if his friend is mean to him. How do you? How do he react for it? What do you do, Mataji? Is asking me. Yeah, you know that. Then ask Mataji first. Then our Papa will help you. Mataji. Can you please? Yes. Tell? Can you please tell me? Okay, I will tell at the end. Okay. Uh, now, uh, who wants to go for answering this? Let me ask my Papa for answer that point. Mataji Balvinda wants to answer. Okay. After Balavrinda, can Prachi go? Yes, yes. First, Balavrinda, go ahead, Balavrinda. So, uh, so this is about Janvi and when she will have, um. Um, um, when she is bad to me, then I would be good because I want Janvi to become good uh, um, next time. Okay, so you want to become, you want to react nicely so that Janavi re reacts to you nicely. Okay, very good, Brenda. That was good. Okay, so Pita. Mataji, I will be nice and I will pray to Krishna. My friend, my friend will be nice. Oh, very good. You pray to Krishna so that she can behave good. That is really very good. Very good. I forgot about Kaushi's uh, friend uh, on to try, right? Can she go? Kaushi, your friend can try. Krachi. Krachi. Uh, Mataji, can you um, tell the question to uh, Prachi? Question is here we saw that how Prahlad Maharaj was so nice to his father. Even his father was tr troubling him. So how do you react if your friend is troubling you? How you react to her? How do you react if your friend is troubling you? You should not hurt them back. Tell like an example like that. maybe like oh uh, please don't hurt me something like that. No, I do yeah. Uh, she she doesn't have an idea yet. Okay, no worries. No Can worries. you please come come back um later? Yes, yes, yes. Palvit, uh, Palvit was raising hand before he tried, right? Palvit, did you try before? Okay. Palvit, do you want to try? Yes, Palvit, do you want to answer me? Yes, I, I will be still friendly. Yes, Mataji, yes. Still friendly, yes. Because that is what here Pralad Maharaj is teaching us. So there is one more question now. Okay, you are being still friendly, but the other person is still taking advantage. Oh, Palvit is, even though I scolded him, Palvit is still good. Okay, let me trouble him more. So the other friend is trying to trouble you more and more. So then, then what do you do, Palvit? Do you have any idea? Hmm? Your friend is saying, I will try to Mataji. And then, and then pray to God. Pray to God. Pray to God to give me strength. To play, pray me God's strength. Give, give me strength. Give me strength. 
so I can still be friendly with my friend. So I can be friendly with my friend. Yes, very good. So there is another thing also, like we saw that uh, uh, snake and story. Story. If if anybody remember that story. Padaji, can I say something? Yes, yes. Who wants to say? Badra wants to say something. Okay, so Badra, go ahead quickly. If if someone is is being more rude to me, I will not give up. I pray to Krishna. I'll share to to my friend so that she can so that she can pray to God too. Yes, you yes, very good, very good. If my friend more rude to me. Um, I would be nice, but I would also ignore them. Oh, very good, very good. See here, we we remember that story, right? I think many of kids know that the Narada Muni and the snake story. What happens to that snake? Everybody tried to hit him, hit the snake, right? The snake first was biting everybody and harming everybody. The Narada Muni meets the snake and gives bhakti to the snake, and snake does not harm. But when as soon as the snake is seen, everybody were hitting the snake. And then next time when Narada Muni meet the snake, snake was almost like kind of died. It's, it's almost will die now. It is so weak and it has so much problem. So then, what did Narada Muni teach to the snake? You should not hit them back, but you can scare them. So in the same way, we cannot. If the other person is trying to take the advantage of our goodness, we cannot harm them, but we can tell them little bit nice way that this is not the right way. You are taking the advantage of my goodness. This is not the right way. I know you please. Be if good with me, so we can try to be uh, telling them in a different way, and we 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 don't have to be suppressed all the time. Uh, and we we don't have to be more uh, uh, like um, like ignorant way or like trying to you know be rude. No. We should we should behave according to the situation, okay? Like how Narada Muni trained the snake, right? If everybody, if nobody is harming it, the snake can go happily. If somebody coming, then it try to scare them. So that is the mentality we should have, okay? Uh, so moving on to the next part of our session, I hope everybody drew something, draw something up, uh, planned and everything, okay? Moving on to this loka, we invite Sarojan and Dini Mataji for teaching us loka. Uh, Mataji, please take over Mataji, Sarojan Andini Mataji. Sarojan Andini Mataji is not there today. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna, kids. Are you all ready to learn another shloka from the Bhagavad Gita? Yes. Yes, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yes. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna to all kids. So today we're going to learn from the 15th chapter. Okay. Many of you must be knowing this shloka. 15th chapter, 5th verse. Okay. It's a very important verse. So we're going to learn the first two lines. Everybody repeat after me. Nirmana moha. Nirmana Yeah. 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 Yeah.
who understand eternal who are done with material lust and who are free and the, from the duties of happiness dualities of happiness and this distress distress and to um unbewildered know how to surrender unto the supreme person attend to that eternal kingdom yeah thank you so much janami so this shloka is explaining about how to uh, surrender unto the supreme person and then how to go to his kingdom how do we go to his kingdom we have to become free from all these things false prestige illusion <laughs> false association we should always associate with the devotees and not with other um people who are too materialistic and we should also get rid of our false prestige that we always want to be praised and we want to um, maintain some kind of uh, uh image about ourselves we always want to post something that we are not we are in illusion okay we are always thinking that we need to satisfy our senses but actually what will make us happy serving krishna right so if we get rid of all these things material lust and uh, who are uh, don't feel happiness and distress you are not disturbed by happiness and distress so once we get to that level then we will be ready to enter into the eternal kingdom of god okay so that's what the shloka is explaining now let's move to the rhyme this rhyme talks about the essential principle of krishna consciousness so it's a very simple rhyme but this is See, that's the one lad maharaj is teaching us here so i was thinking it will be yeah. the correct right right so prahlad maharaj is teaching his uh, friends see on the picture on the side this is what he is teaching he's teaching his friends how to always remember krishna and never forget him okay so now we're going to sing this rhyme please repeat after me always remember krishna never forget krishna hari 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 bol always remember hari bol Okay, we're doing two lines. We will do two lines. Okay, now we are going to change the words. The next one is singing. Okay, singing. Remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Singing. Next is dancing. Okay, dancing. Remember Krishna. Never Dance. forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Remember Krishna. Never forget Krishna. 
Walking, remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Now let's move to the break room and then we will start raising our hands so that you all can sing individually. I also have your pictures ready so you can show in the room. Okay, now let me share my screen and then you can start singing. Okay, can you all see? Can you all see my screen? Yes, Master G, I can see it. Okay. Okay, Janu, yeah. you want to go ahead first? Nirmana Mohajita Sangadosa Ajatna Nitya Vamaraja Kama Okay. Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bola, Hari Hari Bola. So do remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bola, Hari Hari Bola. Dancing remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bola, Hari Hari Bola. Talking remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bala, Hari Hari Bala. Playing remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bala, Hari Hari Bala. Talking remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bala, Hari Hari Bala. I'll remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bala, Hari Hari Bala. Thank you very much, Janvi. Very nice. Okay, let's move to Madhava. Madhava, you want to raise your hands? You want to sing? You want to do the shloka? Say yes. Yes. Yes, Madhava. Okay, go ahead, Madhava. Nirmana. 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 Moha. Moha Jita Sangha Dosha Jita Sangha Dosha Adhyatma 
Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Always Hare Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Singing remember Krishna. Singing remember Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Never forget Krishna. Never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Dancing remember Krishna. Never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Welcome, remember Krishna. Never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Pain, remember Krishna. Pain, remember Krishna. Never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Talking, remember. Talking, remember Krishna. Never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Honest remember Krishna. Never. Never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo. Say Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. That was so nice. Let's, uh, Advait, did you want to sing? Um, to the I'm waiting for the next class, Mataji. Oh, okay. But I can do it if you want. If you, you raised your hands, if you want to. Oh, I did. I didn't see. Okay. I can do it if I want. I mean, if you want. You can do the shloka if you want. Yeah, okay. No, mama, moha, jita, sangha, dosha, adyam, adyatma, kya, vina, vata, kama, vandva, vinikta, sukha, dukkha, samjna, gachanti, amduha, padan, avyam, ay, Avyayam Tat. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Advait. That was so nice. Let's. Uh, is there anyone else who would like to say the rhyme or the shloka? Me, Raghav. Okay, Raghav, you want to go ahead? Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Let's move to the rhyme. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo, Sing Rama, even Krishna, never forget Krishna, Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo, and Sing Rama Krishna, never forget Krishna, Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Walking in Ram Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Praying in Ram Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Walking in Ram Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. All listening Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Okay, thank you, Raga. Anyone else? I don't see anybody raising hands. Okay, Bubi, what's your name? Is it Bubi? Yes, Bubi. Yes, Bubi, go ahead, please. Can I sing the rhyme? Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari 
Hari Hari Polo, singing remember Krishna, never forget Krishna, never forget Krishna. I mean, eh, uh, Hari Hari Polo, Hari Hari Polo, dancing remember Krishna, never forget Krishna, Hari Hari Polo, Hari Hari Polo. Walking remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Polo, Hari Hari Polo. Praying remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Polo, Hari Hari Polo. Talking remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Polo, Hari Hari Polo. Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Polo, Hari Hari Polo. Thank you, Mataji. Mataji, it's closing time, Mataji. We can yes. close for today. Yes, thank you, Bhuvi. And uh, let's move to the Vaishnava Pranam. It's almost uh, time for the next class. So let's conclude with Vancha Kalpa Bye. Thank you everyone. Bye bye. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.